Oh, you'll have to eat them ones off first. Which ones, mate? Seeds. All right, and then are they are canola seeds. Oh. All right, and I won't be using them today, will I? No, no, just take them in first, put them in shed. Okay, I will. What do you want me to do with these lime bags? Well, we got four round back there, I think, something like that. Yeah, I think we got four, maybe four or three. Oh, uh, well, we bloody need it. Them soil samples coming back the way they did. Uh, if I was you, just take them off, put them down here to the side. We've got a lot more space here now, haven't we? Yeah, that's true. All right, and I'll put them down there, George. Well, I'll put them down there. And, uh, uh, have you have you been to Keith's? Yeah, been this morning, sorted cows out. They also give our cows a little bit of feed, but not much. Oh, probably best you can do. Where's the, where's the spreader, then? Oh, mate, I forgot. Bloody hell, fire, scroft. Well, mate, you've given me a list as long as my arm. I can't, I, I can't remember everything, can I? Well, you're going to have to bloody go back down, aren't you? I will, I will. I mean, if... It's nice that Keith's lent us his spreader anyway. Oh, well, well, bloody hell, it's the least he could do with him living in my house. And he may as well, it's bloody just sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'll go back down. I'll tell you what I'll do then. I'll take this off. I'll get this guy sorted out so he can head off. And yeah, and then I'll probably... I don't know, what do you want me to do first? Do you want me to go sort of feed out? Oh, bloody pain in the backside, that is. Listen, just figure it out while I do this and let me know. Oh, well, we'll do. We'll do. Come by me when you're done. Ah. Uh, hurry up. Bloody hurry up. I'll try my best, George. Like I said, there's a limit, mate, to this madness. <laughs> Only limit to the madness. You hear me? It's all right for him to say that. <laughs> right, so, uh, seeds are going in, which makes sense. Bloody hellfire. I can't believe how much work he's given me today. We've got to move all the cows back over. Luckily, we're taking the cow main cows out and effers, but we've got to put them cars in the igloo, so I'm going to have to separate them out. Ah, oh, there's loads to do. Absolutely loads. I've got to put some feed in there just in case we need to bring them in, but I've looked at the weather twice now and it's no rain for the at least the next week. Maybe after that, but some nice weather for the meantime, anyway. Um. Let's just plonk these over here somewhere. It's probably good enough. Uh, it's, it's just it's just sometimes just too much to do for one person. Beanie's obviously busy. Can't ask Beanie for help. I mean, I wouldn't like to put put her in the deep end anyway. I think she needs you know proper showing. I'll drive a tractor and all that, so she's comfortable. Uh, but we might we might get to the point soon where I'm going to have to either ask George or show show Beanie at least, but. I'll make sure she's comfortable with it first. And she's already busy. Pigs are at the point where we've got to take some more to market soon. <laughs> Piglets are always an handful. She's got that foal now as well. Ah. Uh, it's non stop. Non stop. But at least we've got some lime, and that's a job. Gonna have to try to get done today. Keith's lending us the, the spreader that he's got it is. So that saves George a bit of cash. So he's just leasing one out. I mean, we could have used the muck spreader. Need to clean it out though. I've been busy muck spreading all the crop fields. After I cultivated them off, I've got the muck out of that bunker. So that's good for when that farm goes back. There'll be no muck in it now. Slurry, still got a bit of slurry there, but we can sort that out quick enough. excited to get these cows back but it's just the fact that he wants me to get out in the field as well and spread lime in all them crop fields every single bloody one of them as well <laughs> it's just crazy it's mental I'll get through it though get through it won't be much stopping about though but him and Keith will be inside all day chilling out probably watching something I mean they still haven't decided on what they're gonna call that foal I'm sure that's the only job him and George have had. <laughs> That's that done then. Oh god, what's next? Hey Keith, you're eight. Yeah mate, alright, just 
too much on. <laughs> well, <laughs> exactly, mate. Exactly. Uh, are you getting on? You still alright in here? Well, yeah. I don't know why there. will be on it. He's in around, you know. Got you me down my room. I don't know about that. That's in your room. I don't know why I asked you this, mate. I feel like I'm getting closer to knowing what you're saying, but I haven't got a bloody clue, mate. <laughs> Who knows, eh? I don't even think George still knows, to be honest. <laughs> well, I'm really, really, really up, fool. See you in a bit, mate. George? Hurry. Oh, Right, what's what's the plan then? Come on. Why well, you sorted that? Yeah, he's he's been and gone. All right, and good on you. Good news then. That's that sorted. I'll take that bloody one off list. Right. Well, at the end of the day, we need to get cows over. I want you to do some feed for him first, but you need to take that big bloody feed mixer up. From now on, there's no point in us bloody bringing all that silage over. It needs to stay in that bunker. And I think by the time we got to give that farm back, March time, you know. We may as well. We've got plenty of months left. We'll keep it in there. But the problem is, by doing that, every bloody day when you feed cows, you're going to have to go all the way up to that farm with the feed mixer, do the feed mix, bring it all the way bloody back down. Yeah. I mean, it's a pain, George. It is. But I get why you're doing it. I'll be honest. So, yeah. Fair play. I'll, I'll get to it then. I, I, do you want me to do that first? Uh, well... Yeah, you may as well, because there's no point in going out in the field doing some spreading alarm, is it, until we got it all sorted out? Because we've got to move them bloody cows. All right, I'll do that first then. I'll go get the feed sorted out, get that in there. You, I mean, we've got to put some bedding down as well. Well, uh, well, you don't have to put bedding down just yet, because we don't know how long we're going to keep cows out for, but I just think if it starts raining, it's definitely going to rain in the next seven days. Ah, uh, probably. All right, and I'll just do the feed then, because, you know, they'll be all right without bedding straight away. Oh, exactly, and then if we have to bring cows back in, we'll know and just do some bedding for them. All right, and I do need to bring that down as well. There's no point in it being up there anymore. What's that? The straw blower. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, bring that back down whenever you get a chance. But no, you got to go keeps, you got to pick that thing up you forgot. We need that spreader else you can't get out on that field and do lime, and you've seen the results come back from the lab for that soil that needs it, mate. All right, and I'll, I'll make sure I do it today. Oh, uh, you've done well, really. You know, I get, I know I'll give you grief, mate, but I, I'm, I'm bloody proud of what you're doing right now. You've got a lot on. You know, you're working up the other farm in the morning. You're going down Keith, sorting his cows out, feeding them. And then you're coming down here and looking after that field. You've got it all cultivated. You've ploughed in that section. We've done the soil test. You've spread muck. You've cleared out all the box muck out of that other farm. So that's good news. And now if we get this lime done, all we have to do then is seed in, right? And I said till end of October, could get away with start November really, depending on weather. But really, if we get it done by the end of October, you get that canola seeds in the ground, we should be good to go. All right, mate, I'll get it done. Yeah, you will. Have, I'm confident in you. Are you feeling all right? Well, I'm feeling fine, mate. I'm just, you know, see it as it is. <laughs> all right, then. Right, I'll make a brew and I'll head down. All right then, buddy. You two figured out a name for that foal yet? Oh, I don't know. Keith's been coming up with some plonker names, I'm telling you now. <laughs> what like? Well, he didn't like mine for starters. I was like, should we call it Horse Mick Horse Face? Horse Mick Horse Face? George, you can't call a horse that. Well, I know. It's bloody horse, isn't it? <laughs> bloody Horse Mick Horse Face. I like it. Yeah, you would, mate. You would. Has Beanie said that's all right? Be do you know what? In all fairness to Beanie, she said it's entirely up to us. So if I go back then, I would say we want to call it George. We'll call it bloody George. Oh, God, we don't need another George on the farm. Uh, what do you mean by that? What, what do you think I mean by that? <laughs> we got one George and that's plenty. Oh, you cheeky bugger. Take that as a true offence. <laughs> yeah, you should do. Anyway, I'm going to go up in your bedroom. Uh, no, you bloody not. Why, why are you hiding in that room? I ought to hide in everything. It's my man cave. It's my little place of paradise. Place of paradise? What you got up there? Now I want to know what's up there. There ain't nothing up there, right? There's a few books. That's about it. It's just my place of privacy. It's a place I can go and get 20 minutes away from everybody else. It hurts me ears. <laughs> George, 
What are you hiding in that room? I don't hide in anything. Just don't start being weird. There's nothing in it. It's just a bloody bed, set of drawers for me clothes, and I've got a few books in there. There's nothing else in there. I bet you've got worse bedding than he has. I only got worse bedding than Thunderbirds. Bloody hell, fire. Well, George, if you're lying on a bed of donuts, you just need to tell everyone now. I only lying on a bed of donuts. Bloody hell, fire. There'd be nothing logical in that. What? It'd be a week before I've my own bed. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, don't eat your own bed. <laughs> well, if you made it out of donuts, I'll bloody have to. <laughs> it's been a while since you've had a crumpet surprise. Ah, oh, no, ah. Uh. Bloody lovely things they are. Uh, well, you never know, I might make Keith one. <laughs> Is Keith heard back now? Ah, oh, he's heard back. Is it, is it what we thought, George? Ah, uh, what we thought, mate. Ah, oh, no, he didn't want to tell me. I kind of sensed it, because I heard you talking, but I didn't want to ask questions, you see. Ah, oh, no, I know, I know. It's bloody awkward, isn't it? I didn't want to ask too many questions, but... Yeah, he'll be having some treatment. Have you got any ideas what the treatment's going to be? Well, he's got two options, really. Luckily, it's easy to reach. So he's got an option for just an operation, which means he'll be off his feet for quite some time. But positive, though, you know, good chance and everything, if you know what I mean. Yeah. We don't want to go down that route anyway. We shouldn't even talk about that or even contemplate that in our mind. I know, I know. Well, that's, that's promising. That's promising. And there's this option I've never even bloody heard before, which is called HIFU or something. Never heard of it, mate. Never heard of it. Oh, well, it's a form of treatment. It's, you know, it's a modern one. So it's be better for you, I don't bloody know. But he's got good chances. That's the main thing. You know, that's what he's been told. His chances are good. You know, they found it moderately early, which is always a good thing. So, yeah, it's either operation or this. I think the other option means he'll be back on his feet sooner. But I, I think you should just go with what bloody best, what's advised to him, because you've got to trust these people, aren't you? This is what they're there for. You've got to trust them. NHS are usually pretty good, in my opinion. Yeah, the waiting times are crazy. But, you know, the people working there, they're bloody, I don't know, lifesavers, and they do a good job for this country. Yeah, I know. I agree with you there, George. Well, if you need me for anything... You know, to help him out or anything. I don't know, whatever. I just feel like I want to offer something, but I don't know what to offer. Well, I get that, mate. That's just because you're a good person. you just got to do what's best for people, aren't you, that you care about. But uh, if there's anything, we'll let you know. But he's, he's all right, kid. Do you see him? He's normal self, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's happy in the living room. Well, I know. Do you know what? What I've realised since, he since he's been in here, he reads a lot more than I ever thought. <laughs> and I've just seen him with his book. Oh, good for soul reading is. Uh, I, I like reading, George. It's just having the time, isn't it? Well, that's true. Anyway, go on, get some bloody work done. It's not a bloody... You know, we're not having bloody therapy right now. You'd have to pay you about £200 an hour of therapy with me. <laughs> I'd charge you £200 an hour to come get therapy because you bloody need it. <laughs> what, you cheeky bug? I didn't mean that. I meant it cost you £200 of my perfect bloody therapy. I, I could fix anything I could, I tell you. <laughs> Right, I need a good clean that does. In fact, this tractor really needs a clean. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's 20 past 11 already. 20 past 11. Oh, man. I'm going to have to use the big fence though, because I pick this feed mix is a lot bigger than what I've been using for quite some time. And when it's full, it's going to be hefty pull on that road, so we're going to have to. That'll be another late night out in the field, but then again, spread us a quicker job, isn't it? Just got to try and get everything done, get these cows back out. Such a nice change having all the builders gone. I mean, don't get me wrong, they've done a cracking job, but it's just nice having them gone, have, have the space and can actually, you know, start working in this area. Yeah. Right. Let's go and get this sorted. Bloody hell, why am I 
This is George's listener. You just know it's bloody George. Hey, up, George. I- I'm on my way. Hey, up, mate. Oh, sorry, Jerry. Sorry, man. I've done that a few times now, thinking it's George and it's not. Oh, no worries, no worries. Uh, are you alright? Sound a bit bloody stressed. Well, then again, I don't know why I asked you that. You work for bloody George. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, I'm all good, mate. I'm just, uh, I'm just at one of the farms. <laughs> Currently, somehow running. It looks like three farms. Oh, bloody hell! George coming to a bit of money then? <laughs> Nothing like that. He's, uh, yeah, he's just helping people out, I guess, and you know, transition here with that build and everything. It's just, yeah, a bit of a nightmare. Oh, fair boy, fair boy. Anyway, how can I help you, man? Uh, well, uh, it's a bit of a strange one, actually. Okay. I, uh, well, depends. Are, are you, are you super busy? Uh, I'd say so, Jerry, yeah. Why? Well, put a bit of work that you might, or would want to do for me at least. Well, I'd happily do some work for you, but if I can do it, it's a, you know, a different story. What is it? Well, starting my scene it in. I've done a bit, right? But not as much as I'd like to do. Uh, well, do you want me to do some seeding for you? Oh, I've got a big seeder, nice tracks. You can be in the massive if you want. Oh, mate, I'd love to. I'm telling you now, I'd love to. But I'm just not going to have time, mate, honestly. I mean, we've got... I've got to do some liming. I've got to move all the cows over to this new new shed. I'm looking after Keith's farm as well. After I've done the lime work, we've got to seed in ourselves. All right then, well, who would ask if you got money? I'd, I'd do it, Jerry. Honestly, I really would, but I, I can't, mate. If I did that, I'd just be taking way too much on. I, I don't even know how I would find the time. I mean, if you ask me, maybe in a few weeks, but I'm guessing that'll be too late for you. Ah, oh, that'll be too late, though. Oh, you're right. Okay, mate. Sorry about that. No, it's all right. I know how it is. It's busy. I'll find someone. Don't worry. No worries, Jerry. Oh, did you enjoy your road trip? Oh, it was bloody brilliant. Yeah, we had a good time. I took my little, uh, I took my Volkswagen down and you know, we had a bit of a road trip, it was nice. <laughs> That's cool then. I'd love to do something like that. What, it, I, I've seen that camper van you got. Transporter in it, you've converted it. Oh yeah, brilliant little thing really. Perfect for something like that. <laughs> Sounds like you're living the dream there, Jerry. Oh yeah. Alright mate, I'll leave you to it. Crack on and everything like that. <laughs> yeah, see you in a bit mate. See you in a bit. It's a shame, isn't it? Probably could have earned some good money for that. Not me and Beanie out. No, I can't. I ain't got time to do that. It'd be crazy. Crazy. Uh. <laughs> Hello? Hey, up, mate? You alright? Yeah, I'm alright. I'll try to ring you. I think you had your phone on. What? How long ago? Uh, about ten minutes. No, I was on phone. Who are you? I was on phone to Tim. Tim? We are bloody phone to Tim for? Well, you know, just me and him are going out for a beer later. <coughs> are you kidding me? No, no, I'm not. No, <laughs> I am. Bloody hell, fire! I had a swig of tea then. You nearly killed me, you bloody clown. Why would you joke about something so bloody stupid? Bloody hell fire, mate. You're off your head, you are. Who does something like that? Poor old man like me. <laughs> Poor old man. <laughs> well, I uh, thought it'd be funny. All right, then. Anyway, bloody hell. Anyway, where are you? I'm just at the new cow shed now, filling her up with some feed. Oh, bloody hell. All right, then. Fair boy. Fair boy. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry rang me up asking me if I wanted to do some seeding for him. Yeah, would have been good money as well. Oh, bloody hell. I guess you had to turn it down. Well, yeah, it was it's obvious, isn't it? Too much on. Oh, no, I know. It's tough, mate, but I appreciate that. Remember, at the end of the day, you, you do work for me. I know. You don't have to feel bad about it, George. It's not your fault. It is what it is, mate, isn't it, really? Ah. Uh, right, well, what you, what's your plan then after this? Are we going to go get cows? 
Yeah, as soon as I put this feed in, we can go. You coming with me? Oh, I'll jump in with you. You'll need helping hand for that, definitely. Nice one, George. Bloody hell, I definitely need an helping hand. Bring all them cows back. It's a few trips, that is. Oh, I think we'll be able to do it in about... Uh, probably about ten trips overall. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, all right. And as soon as I'm done, mate, I'm just putting it in about halfway empty on this Keenan. It's nice actually get back this Keenan. It <laughs> can hold a lot more feed. Oh, I know. Well, it's good, isn't it? Good. Got to go wrong with the Keenan. <laughs> all right, and right, just come get me then. And I'll, uh, we'll come out and uh, we'll go get calves first, I think. All right, mate. No worries. See you in a bit. Right, well that's doing that for a sec. I'm just gonna go and check these out, because if we're gonna move the cars, we probably wanna get these out. Luckily they're not actually that heavy at all. So even George could do this. I guess it'd be my job to look after the cars. Which I'm happy to do. Save's so giving something else to Beanie. Yeah, not too bad. You know what? They are much better igloos for the calves. And they're right by the field, so when the cows are out, you know, now that they'll be close enough to them. And they'll all be together anyway in the winter. And then when the summer months come back around in spring, you know, we can throw them all out. Yeah. Ah. Let's get it sorted. George, you ready? Well, I'm coming out now. Alright, I'll wait for you up front. Well, go on, I'm behind you. Got enough trips to do with this. Should be fun though. <laughs> Mate, I'm gonna get them stickers off one day, but I feel like this might have been way too long for it. <laughs> Already. All right, mate. Are you going to actually help me with this? Well, I'll bloody help you with it. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I've got a feeling it's me who's going to be doing everything. You're just going to be there, standing there with your bloody arms out, waving them. Well, well, that's part of it. You do know that, don't you? I do, yeah, but at the same time, I kind of do everything. Not this many cars. You're going to have to help me out. Well, I'll bloody help you, right? Calm down. Oh, God. Do some bloody moaning you do. I just, all I want is your help, mate. I, you know, I want to get out in that field and do some spreading. I've turned down work today that would have been good money. Well, listen, right? Don't be throwing that in my face. Wait up, wait up. Is that who I think it is? Bloody hell, fire, is he still there? Do you think he's been over and shaved? Or even bathed or anything? Bloody hell, fire, what an absolute plonker. <laughs> oh, my. God, I can't believe that. I thought he would have got bull bar of that by now. The thing is, you're right, he's got no authority. <laughs> no, I imagine he hasn't. So what do you think he's doing? If, if Imagine if someone speeds past him. Does he, does he go chase him in that bloody van and, <laughs> and bloody give him a ticket or something? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh, I, I think a bloody cyclist did bloody get away from him and that. <laughs> then again, you never know he might bloody... Smoke them out or something. Yeah, that's true. Right, pull up and uh, we'll just use the field and swing it around. All right, mate, no worries. Oh, let's see. Bit more, bit more. Well, that should be fine there, buddy. All right, mate. What are we doing? Cars first? Uh, I think so. Well, all right, then let's do that then. Oh, bloody hell, fire. It's been good this has, hasn't it, to us? It has, mate. I, I, I honestly think this has been brilliant. The fact you found this was a lifesaver, really. I mean, what else would, would have we done? We would have done something. We, there's always a way, mate, I'm telling you. I've said it before, if there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. I know that. It's just we were lucky, weren't we? Oh, we were lucky, but, you know, things just work out and meant be, aren't they? Yeah, true. True. And you got an house out of it. Yeah, that's true as well. Right, go on, open her up and I'll uh, I'll get these bloody calves wrangled up somehow. <laughs> don't want to do too much. I'll do just the right amount. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> I'll do. Oh, 
Are we all good then? Far all good, right, Beanie? Yeah, George. Do you mind doing this then? No, I can do that. Are you sure, Beanie? Just tell him if you've got too much on. No, it should be fine. Right, so just, just all you got to do, right, is, is every day, I'll sort out. There's up there. There's this bloody. I'll show it you, but it basically just feeds out milk. Basically, what it does is you can mix in some calf milk replacer, half and half is usually best with a bit of hot water. So I'll give you some fresh milk straight off the cows when we're milking them again in this in this new shed. And then I'll show you this milk powder. You mix that in with hot water in the milk. Mix it all up. You'll feed that to the calves. We'll do that twice a day. And they've also got buckets around here, if you can see some water as well. So we'll, we'll put, you know, a few buckets of milk, a few buckets of water. And then when we start, you know, properly weaning them off that, we can put some feed in, you know, depending on what they want in, in these troughs here. Yeah, I can do that. So twice a day with the milk. Ah, I'd say twice a day with the milk and, and just check the buckets at the same time. You might have to top them up, you know, clean them out. You know, they get a bit of grub in there. You just have to claw it out. Yeah, I can do that, George. If you need any help, Beanie, let me know. Honestly, I don't mind. I, I can help you out wherever. I already will. Also, don't worry about straw bedding. Scroffs can look after that. <laughs> Am I? Ah, oh, you can do that. You can muck it out here, can't you? Yeah, I can do that. And you, they'll need a bit of straw. I mean, we've put some down, but... For the meantime, it should be enough, this should. Yeah, this will be fine. And when you're using straw blowers to graft on the other bit, just come down here and, you know, blow a bit over here. Yeah, I can do that, mate. Sound as. All right, and we both good, then? I'm good. You good, Beanie? Yeah, I'm good with that. How are you getting on with them pigs, love? Yeah, I'm doing fine. They are fattening up nicely, though, so you might want to arrange with the butcher uh, to send them off soon. Well, that's all right then, that's good news. That's more buddy money there. Sort that out with them and then speak to the butcher after it. Yep, spot on. I know we've got some more piglets as well. You're going to have to move them over after, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, they'll uh, they'll need moving over. Not quite yet, though, I think. Maybe give me till the start of November and then we can bring them over and start fattening them up with the others. All right, and Beanie, nice one for that, spot on. Uh. And we'll get back to you before the end of the day with that name, I promise you. <laughs> okay. Right, see you in a bit then, Beanie. See ya. Right, come on then, Scroff. I'm coming, mate. Right, let's go and, uh, yeah, let's go and get these main cows, eh? What do you mix of them in there? I know, there's heifers, milkers, you got got loads of different types now, aren't you? There's a good mixture of them. Well, I know, I know. Uh, we're doing well though, we've got more more, and more milking nowadays than we had when we first moved over here. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Right, we'll get them, we'll pour them out on the main field and then you can start on getting some bloody lime down. It's about time, George. Bloody hell. Don't know what we're doing lime spreading in the dark. No, no, you don't want to do that in the dark. You'll be fine. We'll get it. You'll get a good chunk done. If not, you just have to do it tomorrow. We've got, we've got a bit of time, but this is important. We've been working towards this point. Bloody ridiculous. Prioritise lime over that. I know, just just when I've got a job like that hanging over me, I just want to get it done or at least get started on it. I get, I get that feeling, I do. But we'll get it done. I'm sure of it. Anyway, bloody hell, where are all these coming to? It's bloody carnival day or something. <laughs> probably. It's probably because they know Tim's there and they can get away with speeding past him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're just coming and antagonise him, aren't they? <laughs> Take that body in, Scroft. <laughs> I am, George. I am. Nice of them, but, isn't it? Yeah. I can see them four old girls. They still grouped together, don't they? Which ones? You see them over there. Look, that four there. I think I get what you mean. Oh, they're the four. They're the four ones we had to start off in Carmson. Oh. They old now, they are. It's nuts, isn't it? to think George just just look at that just take that in from where we started back in Carmson when you first hired me <laughs> I bloody know mate I know ah uh, this farm and that shed 
She would have been bloody proud of this. I'm sure she would have, mate. I know I am. Well, me too. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. I'll leave you do it, mate. I'm going to go show Beanie how we uh, sort this milk out for these calves and... Ah, oh, best uh, figure out myself, because I'll be in that bar the first time this evening. <laughs> oh, yeah. When are you going to show me? Oh, not yet, mate. Let, let cows get used to it first. They're going to have a bit of a shot for this. This is uh, something they've never done before, especially in a road tree like that. So give it time and I'll uh, I'll show you. Don't you worry about that. All right, then, mate. Uh, but we'll get it all sorted. Don't you worry about cows now. I'll, I'll sort this. Just do me a favour. When you head back tonight after you've done your lamb and you come back in the morning, obviously you ain't got to do cows over there now. Oh, yeah. I never thought about that. Well, at least that saves me one trip, then. Ah, uh, you'll still need to go down to Keith's, but do me a favour. When you head down in the morning, bring us that straw boy back and, yeah, we can put some bedding down for, for calves as well. All right, mate. All right, and go on, then. You'll need uh, probably fent for this. Yeah, I will. You're right there. Oh. Right, see you in a bit. See you in a bit, George. It's nuts, isn't it? It's nuts. All this now, compared to what he had. <laughs> He's done well, George has. He really has. Anyway, let's go sort this out. Half two. It's getting a bit late. Uh... I think I can swing over that field. It shouldn't do too harm, too much harm to it. It's only a bit of grass and a bit of muck on that ground over there that we cultivated, so that should be fine. Try and get as many fields as I can done. I'm gonna have to bring it back up. Get the lime in anyway, but I might start with the one at the back. Just shift as much of it as I can, and I've got some spare. You never know, I can try to put a bit on the grass. I know we didn't get it tested, but I'm going to do it any harm. It's not like we're going to be mowing that grass anytime soon. Yeah, could do. See how much we've got left. I know he's got four bags around the back from the last time we did lime. So, yeah. Plenty of it go through. I don't care, Keith. Right? I don't get it. It's that simple. What's going on in here? Bloody him. He's, he, he's bloody adamant on this name for that foal, but I just don't get it. Why? <laughs> What's the name? Harry Trotter or something. <laughs> I like it, Keith. You've never read a book like that. What have you? How can you not get that, Harry Trotter? You know, Harry Potter. Who the bloody hell is Harry Potter? Right, I get, I get something about Trotter because horses trot, don't they? Yeah, exactly. So that's just a play on for his second name, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Who the bloody hell's Harry Potter? He's a wizard. A bloody wizard? No, you, no, you both off your head. There ain't no such thing as bloody wizards. It's a book, George, and they made films. Films. Never heard of it. Gonna be that good. George, Harry Potter's like proper famous. <laughs> famous? Tell you what's famous? Rambo. Die Hard. Beverly Hill Cops. They're bloody famous. <laughs> yeah, for you, George. But I like Harry Potter. I've read the books. They're pretty good. Oh, bloody... I bet they're not. I've got Harry Potter books. I'll give you one. I'll lend you the first one. <laughs> About a wizard? Ah, you like the Lord of the Rings. Why not? Fine, I'll read the first book, but that's it. I don't want to read no more. I'll do it, just shut you up, and fine. Keith, if you want to call the bloody thing Harry Trotter, call it bloody Harry Trotter. What do I know? What's that, then? We've got a bloody foal on the farm called Harry. What's that about? <laughs> oh, God. Harry Trotter it is, then. <laughs> what you, what's your plan now? Me? I'm just making a brew. 
I can see that, but what are you doing after? You're getting out on the field, starting to go cloudy outside. I know, I've noticed. Do you think we'll get a bit of rain? Uh, I don't know, still forecast, but I don't know, maybe. Maybe a couple of days, maybe. I don't know, but I don't think so today. Well, I'll keep an eye on it while I'm out there. Ah, I'll do that, yeah. Harry Trotter, eh? Yeah, honestly, George, I recommend reading it, mate. There's like eight books. You'll love it. Eight books? Bloody hell, fire. Must be a good story if there are eight books. That's a lot of my time. <laughs> well, read the first one and see if you like it. All right, then, fine. I bloody will do. When you give it me, I'll read it. All right, then. I'll make sure I bring it round. No, I'm done. I've got I've got the spreader. I filled it up with lime. Just making a brew. Take out with me. All right, then, buddy. No worries. Done good today, aren't we? Feels good, doesn't it? Finally, I've everything sorted on the farm and cows are outside, out in the grass. Best place for them. You know, make the most of it while we can. And oh, They've missed that this year, haven't they? Yeah, they have. They've had a bit of grass up there, but not, not like out on that field, mate. Oh, no. Uh, uh, Did you show Beanie? Ah, she's all sorted, set up and everything, yeah. She, she knows what she's doing. Fair play. Right, I'll leave you to it, George. Oh, I'll leave you to it, bloody hell. Harry Trotter. <laughs> it's a good name, mate, I promise you. All right, then. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. <laughs> Getting a bit grim out. Just hope it don't start raining. Anyway, filled up, put four bags in it, so plenty to start off with. And as soon as it starts getting a bit too dark, I'll, I'll call it quits because I don't want to be spreading lime in the dark. At least try to get one field done, eh? Yeah, let's start with this one. Putting lime over muck like this. <laughs> I've never done that before. Always look beyond the setting sun. All the time you wasted here. Start to turn to see who sang 